KJ, you took it upon yourself uh, to really kind of put the team on your shoulders there, especially in the first half. What were you seeing defensively for UT Martin that allowed you to have so much success, especially early on in the game? Um, coming into this game, I know that I had a uh, good opportunity to get uh, open shots and to also help get my teammates open shots. I just seen like I can just get to my spots very easily, and then if they like come down on me, I can just go and pass it out to my teammates. There's been a lot of discussion that a guy like DJ Burns is a terrific offensive rebounder, one of the best in the country tonight. You had eight offensive rebounds. Uh, how much pride do you take in that part of your game, knowing that you can kind of get mismatches down low and get those extra opportunities? I'm um, just going in, playing aggressive, um, just going out, and just playing my game, and then helping DJ on that on the end, offensive end, defensive end, so we can both uh, help the team, so we can get out in transition. Does DJ's offensive rebounding help feed you? I mean, is that just you see it and you just want to go out and do the same thing? Um, both of us, we really, we really just like to go, go, go and get the ball just to help help the team, uh, just to go out in transition. KJ, I thought we were having a flashback there in the first half when. I think it may have been an offensive rebound, I don't know, way out front, and you took it to the hole like you did against Chattanooga for, for an easy basket. Uh, you're always looking for an opportunity for an easy basket, aren't you? Um, most likely, yes. Yeah. So uh, moments like that, I just try to take take that as a, a shot in my game. So we just, I just do what I do. KJ, you're 6'11 when you do that. I want to I kind of follow up on that. There's not a lot of 6'11 guys that can actually – put the ball on the deck and take it to the basket. How do you practice something like that? How does a player of your size and stature work on a play like that? Or is that just something that you feel like comes natural? Um, pretty much, I, I pretty much work on that uh, in my, all my workouts, uh, just going in, going in, dribbling the ball and finishing um, on the block and also my shooting. Um, just going out and just really just playing my game and to help my teammates so, so we can just get out and just play our game. You and Trey Hannibal collided late in the game, obviously both trying to go for that run out. There's a smile coming here. What, what did two players say to each other in that situation, knowing that there's a run out dunk there? How, how do you talk about that after a game like that? Uh, we we didn't see each other because we was both looking for the ball. So, but when we got up, we we kind of uh, slapped hands and saying like, "We good. We uh, just gotta get this next stop." And we got the stop, and it happened. Because the UCM did not give up and. That meant you guys had to take care of business at the foul line, and you did tonight after y'all struggled a little bit during the early part of the year. I, I imagine y'all been working pretty hard, haven't you? Um, yeah, credit to them. They got a good team. Um, they came in with the mindset that they, they want to lay down. Um, just just going out playing our game pretty much. So we just took that as a toll as a team so we can just come out and be aggressive. Free throws. You guys been shooting extras. Right. Yeah, most most definitely. We uh we take our time at, after practice and shoot at least like a hundred free throws after practice, so we can just have a feel of the rim.